What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and what is the general consensus on Bam Margera? You know, a lot of people have been reaching out to me for months now, wanting me to dive into the Bam Margera situation and wanting me to cover the Bam Margera situation. But it's a situation that I have almost shied away from. Because I feel like it's a almost as if it's like a, a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. I know a lot of people don't think it's the case, but I think Bam needs help. I think it's kind of obvious that Bam maybe needs help with some of his issues and his... Uh, uh, there's a lot of words you can't say on YouTube, but with his problems with maybe alcohol or drugs. Now, I know that there has been a lot of weird stuff going on behind the scenes. And there's been like an attempt to get Bam in some type of conservatorship. There's a lot of sketchy characters involved. And that's why I say it's one of those weird situations because like in Hollywood, and when it comes to famous people or wealthy people in general, it's like, you want these stars to get help. But unfortunately, there's no one really out there that wants to help them. They want to take advantage of them, control them, suck them dry for whatever clout or money they can get out of them. So when you have people like Bam, it's hard to be like, yeah, send his ass to rehab. When you know people at that rehab facility might not really have his best interests at heart. They're not really there to rehabilitate Bam. They're there to basically take control of his life and finances. So it's just been a, a tough situation. But I think we all can agree or most of us can agree that Bam needs some sort of help. You know, I was worried to death for Steve-O back in the day before he got clean. It was always apparent that a lot of the people on the Jackass cast had problems. I mean, of course, they were popping something, snorting something, doing something to do all of the crazy stunts and weird stuff they would do. But I know that Bam, he didn't get involved in all of that stuff early on. Bam was just naturally charismatic and crazy, and it was almost as if he was high on life. But the people around him were high on other stuff. And eventually it started affecting Bam. And ever since, you know, one of his best friends passed away in that tragic car accident, Ryan Dunn, he hasn't been the same. And I loved Jackass and Viva La Bam growing up. That was during a special era of MTV. When everyone talks about MTV, they talk about, you know, I guess the greatest era of MTV when they actually played music. But for a short span of time there in the early 2000s, MTV was producing some of the best reality television out there. You had shows like Room Raiders and Blind Date, and then you had Pimp My Ride. You got Viva La Bam, Jackass. It, it was just awesome being a a young preteen and teen at the time watching that stuff it was so nostalgic and awesome and of course bam was always one of my favorite i think he was everyone's favorite and i feel like that's why people are so upset about this current situation and everyone wants to make sure that his situation is okay but it just seems like he's continuing to kind of spiral out of control but at the same time we know, and I don't want to speak on too much here because there's things I need to look into and more research I need to do before I start dropping names and pointing fingers. I know there's a lot of information already out there, and some of you are already up to date on the information. But for me, having a YouTube channel, I have to be careful who I point fingers at and who I name drop because a lot of these people are like ready to sue that to sue someone and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this weekend it was reported that Bam Margera's outpatient program, rehab program, obviously isn't working because he was spotted out partying on Saturday 
at the Cuckoo Room in Atlanta. He was raging out with a group of strangers. Eyewitnesses say that he was drinking and not just that, but apparently he was also name dropping himself around the joint to drum up interest in him. And he made a lot of friends. A lot of women were flocking to him. He was partying with the son of the guy who owns freaking Zaxby's. And it just didn't look to me like he was on the right track. And that's what really scares me here. Because it's like you want what's best for Bam, but then at the same time, you know that a lot of the people who are pretending to want what's best for Bam, they're wolves in sheep's clothing. I wish that Bam could go somewhere or take it upon himself to get his life together and to get his life in order. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't know if Bam wants that. And I feel like Bam is on a track to an early grave. And Steve-O was on track for that as well. If Steve-O did not get his life together when he did, there would be no Steve-O right now. Yet Steve-O turned himself around and I feel like he could be an inspiration for not just Bam Margera, but for anyone out there. But yeah, that's the reason why I've been so reluctant to hop into the Bam Margera story. I did put out a video about it a while back, a long while ago, right when a, um, a lot of these, a lot of this stuff started happening, when rumors started swirling about people, you know, possibly trying to get them into a conservatorship and random things like that. And I know there's, uh, there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes that is really shady with this situation. And it sucks because, in my opinion at least, Bam is someone that obviously, very obviously needs help. But I feel like he's almost running away from these people who are pretending to help him because he knows that they're, you know, they have some type of different motives. Let's just say that. And it's just a really difficult situation, y'all, because what can we do? Obviously, we can't do much. Bam... It's at a point with Bam where I feel like he's going to have to take matters into his own hands. If Bam wants to correct his life and get his stuff together, he's going to have to do it on his own. Because I don't think a lot of these people out there who are claiming to want to help him really want to help him. And I think those people may be even driving the Bam to, you know, drink and do, do this stuff and wild out even more. But make no mistake about it, Bam is a product of Hollywood. And Hollywood likes chewing people up and spitting them out. This is all part of the plan in Hollywood. It's like a revolving door. They bring people in when they're young and then when they're done with them, they spit them out. And then the tabloids take over. And they make money off of these stars by covering their downfall. In fact, there's a whole process to this that I would like to elaborate on and talk about on a future video. Hopefully sometime this week, I can make a video about how celebrities, especially young celebrities, are almost farmed and used in a way. Like there's levels to this stuff, there's layers, there's a process that happens here in order for everyone to make as much money off of these people as humanly possible. And I feel like Bam is yet another victim of that. I hope that one day Bam gets his stuff together and that we see Bam and Jackass 73 when they're all 90 years old shitting on themselves and running around in shopping carts. You know, that's what I want for Bam. But I don't know what's going to happen. The future is very uncertain. It, 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 at the very least, it's clear that Bam isn't on the right track. But at the same time, can he even get on the right track when he's dealing with all of these other, all of this other shady stuff going on? So maybe, you know, I, I definitely will be looking into the situation more. I've been looking into it for a while. Maybe I will do more videos on it. Maybe not. We will play it by ear and see how this situation plays out. But for now, I wanna know your thoughts. How do you all feel about this? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, 
ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.